So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create assignments and categories in the new gradebook for Campus Instruction Beta on Infinite Campus. First off, when you're in Campus Instruction Beta, which you can access by clicking on the tic-tac-toe board and then clicking on Campus Instruction Beta, which is here, unless you see campus tools like I do, in which case you are already there to Campus Instruction Beta. Click on Gradebook on the left-hand side. Everything that used to be under Assignments is now located under Gradebook, so it's all a one-stop shop. You don't have to navigate to anywhere else to find what you need to do for your classes. Then you're going to select the class that you wish to create assignments for. Then select the term that you would like to create assignments for. And then all of your assignments, except for your final exam, must be created under trimester grade. I've worked with some teachers who have put it under all three, and that's not the appropriate way to set up your gradebook. So please make sure that everything is done under trimester grade. Once your trimester grade screen is loaded, you'll notice that we have the grading tool windows that we saw in last year's gradebook beta are still here. It does give you the ability to add report card comments right within the gradebook so you no longer have to go to grade by task. This column here will show you these four columns current calculated grade based on the other assignments that they have in, as well as give you the ability to post. Now in order to start setting up our gradebook, if you have not set up a class before, you could simply click on add and it will instruct you that you need to create categories for this class, in which case you can click create categories. If you have already started to set up your categories and, or if you want to copy them from last year, then you can open up the settings panel and for those of you that use Gradebook Beta, you'll notice that there are a lot more options in the, grade, in the settings panel than there were last year. So we'd wind up going to Category Copier, and it will give you the ability to select a class from last year and copy them to classes this year. For the time being, I'm simply going to set up my categories by clicking on Categories. Then I'm going to add a category. The category name that you see would be what your assignments would be falling under. So it could be something like homework assignments or exams or any of the other categories that you usually use for your gradebook. Now the weight screen here only applies when you set up your grade calc options to include weighted categories. If you haven't done that, you can leave this at zero and you're perfectly fine and it will distribute the weight amongst all the categories that you create. So for the time being, I'll say that this category is going to have a weight of 1 of 10. Sequence, I generally speaking leave blank, but if you wanted your categories to show up in a specific order, then this would sequence them. Exclude from calculation would be useful if you have an in-class activity category that you do not want the assignments that are placed into it to count towards the student's grade. And then you can also have it automatically drop the lowest percentage score. Then down here, we're going to make sure that we check off that it appears in all of our sections. And then we would check off which category or grading task we want it to appear under. Keep in mind, everything should appear under trimester grade unless you are talking about a final exam grade. So everything goes under trimester grade. There is no reason for you to check off the other boxes as well. And then hit save. Okay, so I've created one category. In order to create additional, I would just click, keep on clicking add until I had all my categories. And in this instance, since I do have the weight, weight, since I will want to use the weighting, just make sure that all of your categories add up to 100. And then click save. And close. Now before we go any further in terms of actually creating assignments, I do want to go over how to set up your grade calc options, which was the same under last year's gradebook. Um, but it does reside within the settings panel this time. And basically, with, you have to set this up for every section of your classes that you are teaching. So it's not a set once and forget it. You have to go into every single section that you teach and set this up. If your grades are not calculating correctly, then this would be why. For the high school, we want all of the assignments to be calculated under grading tasks with high school numeric, with the exception of your final grade is high school alpha. Now the only other area that I would actually change at this point is within the trimester grade and basically the options that you have are to weight categories which as I just created that category and wanted it as 10% I do need to check that box otherwise it will um, equate or balance the, 
the playing field amongst all of your categories to have them each equal to the same percentage. And then finally, use your score's percent value. Basically means that if you're creating many assignments and you want them all to be worth the same, but the value of the points changes, then you can use the score's percent value and it would calculate the percentage for you for each of those assignments. Um, when I was in the high school, I would have assignments that would be worth 43, 25, 15, and I wanted them all to be worth the same in the grade calculation, and that's the tool that I used to do it. And then you can click Save. So at this point, we have our grade calc option set. We've created one category, which we see over here underneath the categories. And so at this point, we're really good to go in terms of creating an assignment. So to create an assignment, I'm going to click on the Add button. And then I would name the assignment. Now this is visible to the students, so you don't want to make it too cryptic. The abbreviation itself is how you see the assignment in your gradebook. So usually that is um, roughly five characters, I believe. And then you can here in the Campus Portal. You can also change what the assignment date is, what the due date is, and then what the sequence is for it in the gradebook. Now, more often than not, I would recommend leaving this as one. Now, setting the assignment date and the due date are going to be not only beneficial to your students and their parents because they're going to actually see when the assignment was assigned and when it was due, but it will also then appear within your uh, planner over here on the left-hand side during those dates, so that way you know what was going on. Under the Add Notes section, if you did want to, you could add in additional notes for yourself. I do not believe that those appear on the Campus Portal because um, the if you scroll down a little bit more, then you will get more options for that. We are going to align it to the gradebook because we want this to count. And then we are going to check off that it is trimester grade. It is There is only one category that we can choose from, so I'm going to leave it as demo. I would leave, put in the number of points that this assignment is worth. The multiplier itself is if you had, for example, um, some teachers that I work with in the sixth grade, all their assignments are worth the same number of points, but then, and they all reside in one category, but then some of them, like quizzes, are worth two times what a homework assignment would be, or tests are worth three times what a homework assignment would be. Um, so basically, how many times does it count that grade? In this instance, and for most of us, we only want it to count it once. Underneath information for students, this is information that is shown on the campus portal. You can add in a description for the assignment, which is helpful for the parents to understand what was supposed to be going on. Objectives, which you could include what standards are being covered. References, such as what chapters in a textbook that you are referring to. And then you can even add files to this assignment. Now what's handy about adding files to this assignment is that you can then reference them later when you copy this assignment to next year's Infinite Campus the assignment, uh, the files that you attach to it will come with you. Um, so that will make it really easy. It also means that if you attach things like handouts to this assignment and the kid was not in class that day, they would still be able to access the files from their home workstation. So adding files is incredibly helpful. Uh, maximum file size is 20 megabytes and I believe that you can only add two files to it. But if you wanted to add more than two files, please work with me and we can easily combine them into one file to make it easier. Student work products I will cover in another session, but basically this enables you to collect assignments from online. Once we have created the assignment, we hit save. And then we can hit close. And assignment I accidentally put into trimester one, so it shows up here. If I wanted to edit it, I can click on the title and then I can change the dates, which in this case it appeared in trimester one because of the dates that I had selected. So I could change the dates to be in the future and then hit save and it will adjust what trimester that assignment shows up in based on the dates that I just used for that assignment. So you'll see that disappeared from trimester one because now it actually resides in trimester two. In terms of grading from here, if I wanted to put in points for this assignment, I would just type the points in. Or you could also bump the assignment out and fill scores and comments for multiple people. 
or you could do a multi-score. Um, and multi-score basically means that you're going to be able to see all of your students at once, go through and easily add them all in through this method as well. Um, just a different way of doing the same thing. Okay, so that's basically how you set up your gradebook for Infinite Campus, Campus Instruction Beta.